So here in the U.S., we're practicing social distancing to help slow the spread of the coronavirus. But countries like the U.K. are taking a different approach. They're trying what's called herd immunity. And to explain what that may mean is our health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. Thank yes, you again. Thank you for thank coming you. in. Okay, yes. so what's herd immunity? So herd immunity is the concept that if a large enough proportion of the population becomes immune to the condition, then it doesn't spread as easily. So if you look at this graphic up here that we've got, everyone in blue is healthy and the people in red are sick. And so this is when nobody has immunity, like the situation that we're in right now, you can see how quickly the red can spread and make everybody sick. Now, if you look at the next graphic here, you'll see that the yellow people are all immune to the condition, and so there's very few reds, and the healthy people in blue are still there, and those are vulnerable people that don't actually have to have immunity themselves, but by being around people who are immune, the virus can't get to them, so to speak. And so the concept is really good. There's two ways to get herd immunity. One is to get a vaccine. So with something like the measles, we get vaccinated for it, and that's how we get immunity. The second way is to actually get the condition and recover. But in order for this to work, a certain proportion of the population has to have immunity, either through the vaccine or through getting the condition and recovering. Which we don't have the vaccine, so they're just saying everyone gets sick? Yeah. So for the coronavirus, they're saying 60% of the population, the models have shown us that 60% of the population would actually have to contract the virus and recover from it or pass away from it in order for this herd immunity to work. Because you can see that if there's not enough yellow people around, not enough herd immunity, then it doesn't really work. The concept doesn't work because the virus can still get to those blue people. Well, that doesn't sound like a good thing. <laughs> well, no, so I want people to understand that, that herd immunity is a way to stop the spread of the virus, but we don't want herd immunity through people getting sick and recovering. We really want herd immunity through vaccination. So this demonstrates to us, number one, why vaccines work and why they're efficacious. Vaccine vaccination for things like the flu and the measles and other things. And second, it really puts that pressure on us to really start working on that vaccine because that's the way we're going to stop the spread of this thing through herd immunity. But it's an important concept to understand medically because it does limit the spread of the virus and it's one of those things that we're counting on once the vaccine comes out to really help control this thing. Well, speaking of the vaccine, I know that there are some vaccines that are in trials now. What exactly does that mean? It doesn't mean we're close, right? No, several months to a year still probably. And they're trying to demonstrate both the efficacy and the safety of the vaccines before they can release them for general use. But yeah, the clinical trial started on Monday this week. There's two types of vaccines that can be made. One is, called, is a dummy vaccine. So you give a dummy version of the virus and then try to get the immune system to learn how to fight it. The second is called a live attenuated vaccine where you actually give a small diluted dose of the virus itself mm -hmm and then train the immune system to fight it. So they're trying to work on both of those. But as you can imagine, they have to be safe before we can give them on a population level. Right. 